Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can set up mobile access on Aviva 2020 Edge. Mobile access allows you to remotely access your HMI using a web browser. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to install Microsoft Internet Information Service, also known as IIS. A quick quick to check whether you got IIS in your machine would be to go to your services, services and let's sort it under the name here and look for worldwide web publishing service i don't have any worldwide publishing service here so there's other ways to check another way would, would be from the command prompt you type net start world 3 svc if you get an error message like that you do not have iis and you're gonna have to install it the os i have right now would be microsoft 10 pro and i'll be demonstrating using this operating system you might have a server class machine the way to install microsoft iis is similar but they're slightly different so let's get started so you would go to a control panel windows control panel in here click on programs and look for turn windows feature on and off i'm going to go in here just to show you there's other ways to get in as well programs there's another way to get in would be this click on this guy here and I'm gonna make this a bit larger so we're gonna to have to look for internet information service put a check here expand this there's a couple of other features that uh, Aviva requires you to install I'm gonna go through that FTP is not really necessary on this web management tool when you expand it uh, this is what it is by default let's leave it here on console only for now but on this section here worldwide web services you have to enable all the asp and .NET features here you're going to have to enable 3.5 4.6 and if you have 4.8 here you can put a check on 4.8 as well uh, you're going to have to install all the asps 4.6 because i got 4.6 here if you again if you have 4.8 yeah then put a check on 4.8 i'm going to go ahead and expand this common http features by default they should all be selected this way just for the benefit of what i have here so they can compare what i have here. i'm going to scroll up a bit more i'm going to expand my health this is uh default default and default so once all these checks are done i'm going to click on ok and what's going to do is going to try to install all the items that i've selected all right once this is complete go over here close this and close this after that, let's do a quick check whether your IIS is running on your system. Press the Windows button here. Over here, type services and hit enter. You should see worldwide publishing service and it should be running. Let's close this Windows services here and open your command prompt and try typing the same command that we tried just now. SPC. And this time around, you will say the request service has already been started. The reason for that is because if you look at your Windows services under the World Wide Web, it's showing as running. That's why it says already been started. I'm gonna close this guy here. Next, we'll test the IIS. But before we do that, let's find out the IP address of this machine. Open your command prompt, type IP config. And this is my IP address. So open your browser and type 192.168.44. 138. If you press enter, this is the web page, a default IS web page you should be seeing to show that your IIS is actually working. I'm gonna close this, close this. In this demonstration, I will not be setting up SSL certificate, but if you need some direction and detail, please leave a comment on this uh, video here and uh, I'll uh, try my best to answer all your questions. Next on the list would be to install mobile access web server add-on for IIS. There's two ways to do it. One of them is through the installation media. This is my installation media to install Aviva Edge 2020. Run the setup file, install, select modify, click next and mobile access option will be available for here for you to install so this is not the route that we're gonna install i'll show you another way which is more practical and what everybody has most of the time we don't have an installation media so we'll end up using requiring some sort of a another alternate way to do it would be to go to the location where you have installed aviva edge 2020 generally it is in c program files 86 aviva aviva edge 2020 and go to redistribution 
and then go to web web add-on add -on. go to IIS and this is where you have uh, access to install double click the disguise to install hit install and finish and let's close this to finish installing mobile access web server add-on for IIS next we'll do the mobile access testing you're gonna have to open a browser and enter the IP address of the machine slash MA I'm gonna hit enter here and if it challenges you for a password like that it means that the connection between IIS and Aviva web services is running and is good but one thing you note here is that let me open up the uh, Aviva Edge Studio you can see that the Aviva Edge is not running it is in stop state but still it will challenge you for a password but if I try to log in you'll get an error code 100161 which indicates that your um, mobile access or your Aviva is not running so if you get this error message go back to your studio and try running it once your Aviva edge is started go back to your browser again and then hit F5 to refresh and enter your username and password again and hit enter and this time around you'll be presented with a bunch of selections and menus they are mostly all blank you can see process value is blank screen is blank too but the reason for that is that you haven't set up the uh, mobile access screens yet so I'm just gonna close this for now to configure your mobile access you would go to graphics and thin client and you have mobile access here another way to access this menu would be to go to projects mobile access and you have access to the same menu they're the same thing let me show you same thing over here you set your update rate everything else I normally leave it for default go to area settings here and over here you can define your tags and then the screens you can define the screens here so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a few screens so I got four screens here that's ready to go when you close it you'll say save once it's done go open your browser continue your IP address MA and then you log in with your user credential and one thing you'll notice that uh, when you, we didn't restart the computer sorry the uh, Aviva you'll notice that there's no screen here the reason for that is that you need to restart your Aviva Edge in order for the new changes to take place now, I'm not too sure why they do it I think it's quite inefficient but nevertheless if you know the answers behind it please do let me know in the comment section below I'm gonna go run again once the Aviva is running again, go to open your browser, log in again, go to screens, and this time around you'll see all the screens that you have selected. I'm going to close this here. A more efficient way to define and use screen on the mobile web access would be to define as a screen group. I've already defined a screen group here under this folder. There's three different screens that I've specified. So once you specify the screen, select your screen group name, right click, and save as HTML so once that uh, splash flashing of the screen is done which indicates that your, your screens are converted to HTML open your browser and then punch in your IP address slash MA but this time around hashtag screen equals startup.sg this is the same name as this name here once that's done hit enter they'll prompt you for user credential again and hit enter again and this time around you will start to load using your screen group if this tutorial helped please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment other than that have a great day bye